Mr. Scott. An alien object of unbelievable destructive power is less than three days away from this planet. The only starship in interception range is the Enterprise. Ready or not, she launches in 12 hours. That's all we know about it. Except that it is now 53.4 hours away from Earth. Enterprise is the only Federation starship that stands in a square. We have a problem. Something may be wrong on regular one. We've been ordered to investigate. I told Starfleet Command all we had was a boatload of children. But we're the only ship in the quadrant. An emergency situation has arisen. By order of Starfleet Command, as of now, 1,800 hours. I'm assuming command of this vessel. I know that none of you were expecting this. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to ask you to grow up a little bit sooner than you expected. Or five soon. So much for the little trading crews. What you ask is difficult. You will find a way, Kirk. If you honor them both, you must. I will. I swear. The word, sir? The word is no. I am therefore going anyway. You can count on our help, sir. Thank you, Mr. Sulu. I'll need it. Shall I alert Dr. McCoy? Please. He has a long journey ahead of him. Unit 2, this is Unit 1. The Kobayashi Maru has set sail for the Promised Land. Acknowledge. Message acknowledged. All units will be informed. You're taking me to the Promised Land? What are friends for? Gentlemen. May the wind be at our backs. Stations, please. Cleared space tours. Warp speed. I see. Warp speed. Just a damn Spock, man. start your computations for time warp. We're going to attempt time travel. We are computing our trajectory at this time. This time. This time. This time. Get him back! Get him back! May fortune favor the foolish. Warp speed, Mr. Zulu.
have a dangerous situation out on Nimbus 3. On the planet of galactic peace? The same. From all we can make out, a terrorist force has captured the only settlement. And they've taken hostages. The Klingon, the Romulan, the Federation Councils. Now, I know Enterprise is not exactly up to specs. With all due respect, the Enterprise is a disaster. There must be other ships in the quadrant. Other ships, yes. But no experienced commanders. Captain, I need Jim Kirk. Oh, please. Your orders are to proceed to Nimbus 3, assess the situation, and avoid a confrontation if possible. Above all, however, get those hostages back safely. Are the Klingons responding? No, but you can bet they will. Understood. Kirk out. Plot course for Nimbus 3, Mr. Sula. Aye, sir. Course modded. I'm afraid the ship's problems will have to be solved en route. Since we're undermanned, I'm counting on each one of you to give us best. End of speech. Let's go to work. It is imperative that we act now to support the Gorkin Initiative, lest more conservative elements persuade his empire that it is better to attempt a military solution and die fighting. You, Captain Kirk, are to be our first olive branch. We have volunteered to rendezvous with the Klingon vessel which is bringing Chancellor Gorkon to Earth and to escort him safely through Federation space. Me? Well, there are Klingons who feel the same way about the peace treaty as yourself and Admiral Cartwright but they'll think twice about attacking the Enterprise under your command. I have personally vouched for you in this matter, Captain. You have personally vouched? We volunteered. There is an old Vulcan proverb. Only Nixon could go to China. Control, this is SD-103. Approach to space dock. Over. SD-103, you are clear to deliver Captain Kirk and party to NCC-1701 Alpha. Over. Captain Sulu, as much to the crew of the Enterprise, I owe you my thanks. Nice to see you in action one more time, Captain Kirk. Take care. Captain's Log, Stardate 9529.1. This is the final cruise of the Starship Enterprise under my command. This ship and her history will shortly become the care of another crew. To them and their posterity will we commit our future. They will continue the voyages we have begun and journey to all the undiscovered countries boldly going where no man, where no one has gone. One of two ships transporting Alorian refugees to Earth. Ensign Sulu, can you locate them? The ships are bearing at 310 Mark 215. Distance, three light years. Signal the closest starship. We're in no condition to mount a rescue. We don't even have a full crew aboard. We're the only one in range, sir. Well then, I guess it's up to us. Helm, lay in an intercept course and engage at maximum warp. Aye, sir. Captain, is there something wrong with your chair?
I've just received a disturbing report from Deep Space Five. Our colony on Ivor Prime was destroyed this morning. Long-range sensors have picked yes, up... Yes, I know. The Vorg. Captain's Log, Stardate 50893.5. The moment I have dreaded for nearly six years has finally arrived. The Borg, our most lethal enemy, have begun an invasion of the Federation. And this time, there may be no stopping them. Captain, we've been out in space nearly a year now. We're ready. The Enterprise E is the most advanced starship in the fleet. We should be on the front line. I have gone over all this with Starfleet Command. Their orders stand. Number one, set a course for the neutral zone. Bridge to Captain Picard. Go ahead. We've just received word from the fleet. They've engaged the Borg. Data put Starfleet frequency 1486 on audio. Aye, sir. Stand by to engage at Grim A15. Defiant and Bozeman, fall back to mobile position one. Acknowledged. Lieutenant Hawk, set a course for Earth. Aye, sir. Maximum warp. I'm about to commit a direct violation of our orders. Any of you who wish to object should do so now. It will be noted in my log. Captain, I believe I speak for everyone here, sir, when I say... ...to hell with our orders. Red alert! All hands to battle stations! Engage! Sensors show chronometric particles emanating from the sphere. They're creating a temporal vortex. Time travel. Data, report. We appear to be caught in a temporal wake. Population approximately 9 billion. All Borg. How? They must have done it in the past. They went back and assimilated Earth, changed history. But if they changed history, why are we still here? Temporal Wake must have somehow protected us from the changes in the timeline. Sir, the vortex is collapsing. Hold your course, Mr. Hawk. I must follow them back. Repair whatever damage they've done. scheduled to observe the Baku village for one week. Geordie, would you set up a secure comm link with the Admiral in the ante room? Nice. He's not acknowledging any Starfleet protocols, not responding to any of our hails. Have you any idea what precipitated this behavior? None. Now he's holding our people hostage down there. Well, the Enterprise could be at your position in two days, Admiral. That's probably not a good idea. They're calling this whole area the Briar Patch. It took us a day to reach a location where we could even get a signal to you. Just get me data schematics. I'll keep you informed. Dowerty out. His emotion check? He didn't take it with him. Send the Admiral data schematics. I yes, sir. I would uh, like our guest to depart as soon as etiquette allows. I'm going to ask Worf to delay his return to DS9 so that he can join us. We're going to stop by Sector 441 on our way to the Garden system. They are in opposite directions, sir. Are they? Looks like you're planning on doing some hunting. Return to your quarters. That's an order. No uniform, no orders. Captain, 
How could I look at another sunrise knowing what my sight cost these people? I feel obliged to point out that the environmental anomalies may have stimulated certain rebellious instincts common to youth, which could affect everyone's judgment. Except mine, of course. Okay, Data, what do you think we should do? Saddle up. Lock and load. They won't begin the procedure while the planet is still inhabited. So, our job is to keep the planet inhabited. Will, Geordie, go back and put a face on what's happening here. Make the Council see the Baku. It's too easy to turn a blind eye to the suffering of a people you don't know. They'll be back before you know it. We'll hold out as long as we can. Admiral Janeway, how good to see you again. Tran Luke, how'd you like a trip to Romulus? With or without the rest of the fleet? A diplomatic mission. We've been invited, believe it or not. Seems there's been some kind of internal political shake-up. The new Praetor, someone called Shinzon, has requested a Federation envoy. New Praetor? There's more. He's Riemann. Believe me, we don't understand it either. You're the closest ship. So I want you to go and hear what he has to say. Get the lay of the land. If the Empire becomes unstable, it could mean trouble for the entire quadrant. Understood. We're sending you all the intelligence we have, but it's not much. I don't need to tell you to watch your back, Jean-Luc. Hardly. The Zona, the Borg, the Romulans. You seem to get all the easy assignments. Just lucky, Admiral. Let's hope that luck holds. Janeway out. Helmsman laid a new course. Take us to Romulus, warp eight. Aye, aye, sir. Course plotted and laid in. Romulus. I'm afraid the Opal Sea will have to wait, number one. Engage. <laughs> 